welcome back to the longest journey and uh, we're gonna try and get out of this castle because we need to let's uh, call for mr. crow How you doing, girl? What's going on? Nice digs you found here, though I'd cut down on the mad alchemist decor just a little. It's just not you. I don't plan on sticking around, Crow. Heck, why not? You'll be mobile. Home security is not an issue, and you can strike fear into the hearts of men. <laughs> when you put it like that... Nice. No. Hey, up to you. So, why'd you call me? Why did I call you? What's going on out there? What's going on is that we're currently cruising at an altitude of, uh, oh, very high. And where are we heading? We're very slowly going nowhere except up. There's no wind, remember? It'll start getting chilly and hard to breathe in a few hours, however. Good thing I have that a wind potion. I could use some help. I'll try my best. Just let me know what you want me to do. Uh, which of these? This is wind. Hold on to this vial, okay? Oh, sure. Holding on to stuff is a specialty of mine. What for? I'll let you know. Then we throw you out the window. I want you to fly out there, Crow, as high as you can and empty the potion into the clouds. But what if there's lightning? I don't like lightning. Lightning has caused better birds than me to crash and burn. All right, all right, I'll do it. I'm the ever faithful crow. So this should uh, make us be able to get some wind and get on that uh, uh -oh. capsule. I guess it's ship. working. That's done with. There's still quite a bit left in the bottle in case you need it later on. Good. Let's hit. Okay, we're flying back. Got to crash. He's had him having fun. Oh. I hope you're okay, mister. Let's just go back to Mercuria and let's go to the pier and give him the um, Wind potion. Oh, I can't. Maybe I should just talk to him then. Captain Nebeve? Huh? Oh, it's just you. Where have you been? Where have I... Don't you remember? I went north to find Roper Clax and get him to release the wind. Oh, I... You know, the wind did pick up mysteriously last night, but... Uh... But what? I don't trust it to not die down in a few hours. Or at the most, a day or two. But I destroyed the alchemist. I even set his prisoners free from the rock they were trapped in. Destroyed the soul stone. Sailed back here in his floating castle and... And you don't believe a word of it, do you? Not a word. Great. Can we set sail for Elias now? Well, the wind has picked up a bit, but I don't trust the good weather to last. I don't want to be sitting dead in the water come tomorrow afternoon, so I'll wait a few days more. I did defeat Roper Clax. Uh-huh. Do you have his severed head somewhere on you? I beat him. I didn't say I killed him. Of course you didn't. Thanks for nothing. Now I should be able to give him... Right. 
Captain Nebeve? Huh? I got something you want. What? Well, out with it, girl. What is it? Oh, nothing. You do remember our deal, don't you? I? Um, uh, remind me what the deal was again. That if I defeated Roper Clax and brought the wind back, you'd give me a lift to the Isle of Elias. <laughs> sure. <laughs> the day I see a girl like you bring down a powerful alchemist like Clax is the day I hire a woman to be my navigator. Well, look at this. <sighs> By the balance, girl, that's a strong grog you got there. What is it? Tyron spice wine? It's the wind. Watch this. <laughs> Sweet job! That's a strong wind. You got some mighty powerful magic there, girl. And there's more where that came from. Care to share some of it with us? With that magic, we could make good time to Guillen. Pick up a cargo full of apples and be back here before the competition got, uh, wind of what was happening. Sure. If you give me a ride to Elias, as promised. Balance be cursed. Women aboard? When will it ever end? Jowls, bowels. Be here by this afternoon, or we'll sail without you. As if you'll get far without my wind magic. And you did say something about hiring a female navigator? Damnation! Do you insist on remembering every little thing I say, girl? Don't you know that Jal has forbidden women from riding the waves? Sounds like a bunch of sexist bullshit to me. But it's your choice. I got the wind in my pocket. Now you learn to treat women with a little respect. I've run out of curses, girl. Jal be damned I am in desperate need of a navigator anyhow. All right, all right. You be here by this afternoon with your navigator. It's not as if I ever put much faith in the teachings of the drunken prophet Jaw myself. Okay, so I believe the navigator was in the... Um, in the... Um, in the inn. So let's go to the inn and uh, we should be off. Well, we probably have a few more errands to run. Let's see. City gates, pier, city green, marketplace, journeyman's inn. Run, April, run! right pardon me ma'am I'm sorry young woman but I do not wish to speak with anyone presently where is uh... they look empty and after last night's shindig that's no wonder where's the owner Maybe... Pardon me for intruding, ma'am, but is your name Tunlayak? Oh, maybe yes. it wasn't your name. Yes, I'm Tunlayak. I have a delivery for you. Oh, a map of the Northlands. I had almost forgotten I ordered it. Sorry about that. I came by a few days ago, but you weren't here. No, no, I was looking for work. Thank you kindly, young woman. I will need this map now, if I am to make it to Khorasan by foot. Why are you going to Khorasan by foot? I can ill afford the cost of passage on a ship bound for the Bay of Fire. And since I do not have a job, nor the prospect of getting one, I have little choice. Are you from Khorasan? No, I am from the Southlands. I have never been to Khorasan. 
Then why are you going there? Because I am told that in Khorasan, captains allow women to join their crew. Here, in Mercuria, they do not. So I've been told. But you shouldn't have to go somewhere else to get a job. That just isn't fair. Fair or not, it is custom. And custom is a difficult thing to change. Why are you so depressed? Is it that apparent to you? I do beg your pardon. It was not my intent to burden you with my dark mood. It's okay, I don't mind. I'd like to help if I can. I do not think you can. Unless you were the captain of a ship, and you could hire me as your navigator. But you are not, and so you cannot help me. You are a navigator? Yes, and I have a letter to prove it. Do you want me to show it to you? No, I believe you. And you're looking for a job? I have been looking, now, for many moons. But most captains do not want women on their crew. And so I am leaving for Coruscant in the morning. Well, do I have a surprise for you? I got a job for you, if you want it. A job? As a navigator? Yeah, on a boat called the White Dragon. We're leaving this afternoon, if you're interested. If you are serious, then yes. I am more than interested. But will the captain allow a woman as his navigator? This one will, trust me. Because if he doesn't, he's not going anywhere. Just pack your stuff and head down to the docks. Talk to Captain Horatio <laughs> Nebeve of the White Dragon. Tell him I sent you. The name's April Ryan. Thank you, April. I am Tun Lyak. I am most grateful to you. Will you be going with us? Yeah, so I'll see you there. Thank you so much. I was so helpful. Okay, uh, I believe we got just a couple more errands to run before we head down to the pier. So let's be go back to the city and go to the marketplace. And start by going to the stalls, I think. I think we need to talk to the map seller and then Tobias and then we should be on our, on our merry way. There you are! I'm in a mind to fire you. I expect you your delivery, delivery to tell my ago. act at the journeyman in yet. Me? Well then, I'm I... trying my oh, very what? best to forget, believe me. Did you make your delivery to Tun Lyak at the Journeyman Inn yet? It just came back to say hello. Goodbye. Oh. Did you make your delivery to Tun Lyak at the Journeyman Inn yet? Please, for the sake of all things good and profitable, don't come back to say hello ever again. I'm confused. Okay. Let's go to uh, Tobias. Hey Tobias, where are you? You have returned from your trip north. It is good to see you again. I was concerned. You're worried about little old me? That's sweet. And guess what? I kicked some alchemist ass while I was up there. Bet you didn't think I'd be able to do that. Then you have lost your wager. I knew you would. After all, you are... I was worried because of the trouble in the West. What trouble? The Tyran. They left the city all as one, the evening before yesterday, and many of the vanguard with them. I fear there are dark times ahead. You don't mean war, do you? War, yes. It has been an age and a half since our last war with the Tyran. But relations have always been strained, and now... 
whipped into religious fervor by the vanguard, the Tyran are thirsty for blood and for revenge. They are a people bound by violence and without honor, and easily seduced by the prospect of a holy war. God, that's horrible. But the city's safe, isn't it? It's a big city. Yes, but unfortunately not well armed. Marcuria has not seen war for centuries, and people grow soft, forget how to fight. It can easily be taken by a strong army, and so I fear our safety. And yours. What did you mean when you said, after all, you are... Forgive an old man his misgivings, April, but I should have trusted you before. Of course you should have. With what? With the truth. That you are the one who will watch over us for a thousand years. That you are of the balance. And the balance is in you. That you are the one born into the heaviest duty of them all. You are the guardian to be, April. The thirteenth guardian of the balance. No. Oh, really? No. No, that's a lie. I'm not your guardian. That's not possible. It is certain. I had my doubts, unfortunately. It could have cost us the balance, and I made a mistake. But it is certain now. You are stronger in the balance than anyone before you. God damn, Cortez! He didn't say anything about... If I'd known, I wouldn't have come here. I would have... I don't know what I would have done, but I wouldn't have come here. Maybe he did not know. Or maybe he did. And he knew it would be wiser not to tell you. But I am telling you now because you cannot stay here. You are too valuable. You must leave. I don't want to leave. I don't want to leave. You must, April. The Tyran are gathering their forces on the border to Irid as we speak. Come next week, this city may be under siege, and then you will not be able to leave. Well, I'm supposed to board a ship for Laius this afternoon. Then go. The islands are far away, and the Tyran do not have ships. Before you go, I want to give you something to carry with you. I spent the night looking for it in the Enclave. It has been gathering dust for over 10,000 years. Holy crap. Oh, Tobias, I can't accept anything that old. You are not accepting it. It is yours. The fathers have only kept it safe for the day when the 13th Guardian would come to collect it. And now you are here. Please, take it. It is the Talisman of the Balance. Oh. Known to but a few. It is mentioned in one text only, the Scriptures of Reunification, one of the Thirteen Scriptures of the Balance. What does it do? The Scripture speaks not of its purpose, but it is yours, whatever it is. I am certain it will help you once you find its purpose. It has strong magic, very strong. Thanks, Tobias. I really do appreciate it, even though I wish I didn't have to accept it. You are the Guardian, child. Your fate is both glorious and terrible. But it is your fate. If you deny it, you deny our future. But I have faith in you, April. That's what I'm afraid of. What if I screw up? The balance provides. The balance protects. Trust the balance, and trust yourself. Goodbye. And good luck on your journey. Thank you, Tobias. Okay. So we be Jedi. Let's go back to uh, Nibaway. And let's head out of this crazy place. Probably to a more crazy place. Okay, I have to run through all this. Quiet now, animal. Okay, any boy, we should. Uh, let's Finally, 
We are ready. And we must away before it's too late. We still have another six or seven hours of daylight today. Come, come aboard. Thank you. <laughs> well, Did I tell leave. you how much I hate water? No. Well, remind me to tell you sometime. Noted. Off to the sea. Chapter 6, The Chaos Storm. That's not promising. Oh god, my guts have been cleaned out and I still feel sick. Yum. <sighs> Let's see here. Why does the horizon have to keep rolling back and forth like that? Apple barrel? Let's go over here. The apple barrel. It's half empty. And aside from whatever fish we're able to catch, those apples are only what we got aboard. Ugh, gross! People do not toss the apples back into the barrel after eating. They apparently do. Here's a nice plump one. Okay, I should probably, uh... Let's go up here and talk Why does the horizon have to keep rolling back and forth like that? What's this orb? It's a glass orb with a strange magical glow. It could be some kind of compass, I guess. Let's talk to Tun. Hello, Tun. Tun. Are you enjoying the ride, April? Um... I'd enjoy it a lot more if the ground wasn't moving. But the ground is not moving. The boat is. Hey, you try and tell my stomach that. How are we doing on time? With the help of your magic, we are crossing faster than I had ever thought possible. Give credit where credit is due, Lyak. This ship is the fastest there is. I could outrun a shadow ship in this old lady. When will we be on Elias? By sunset tomorrow, if the wind holds. How fast is it possible to travel by sea? I do not know. I have heard tell of a ship that once went so fast it took to the sky and disappeared. From time to time, sailors spot the ship as it floats across the heavens. It is said to be an omen. The oh. Flying Dutchman, right? No, they call it bad luck. Yeah, probably. I have a question about your compass. Of course. What kind of compass are you using? It is just a normal spirit compass. When we are not navigating by the stars or by the sun, we use this. What's a spirit compass? I forget that you are not familiar with the sea. A spirit compass points always to the magical North Pole, and thus we may navigate according to it. It magical is very precise, and less affected by a strong magical source. Thanks, that's all I needed to know. I hope this knowledge made you richer. Did. Keep her steady, Tun. I will, April. Let's talk to her, uh, boy. Captain? Hi, what is it? How long will it take us to get to Elias? We should reach the island by tomorrow night, unless we get bad weather. Any chance of bad weather? Well, as any experienced sailor will tell you, the weather is a freakish thing, and you never know quite what to expect. But no, no chance of a storm at all, or my nose would be itching. What does your nose have to do with the weather? Well. That's a story, be sure of that. 
And? That's all. It's just a story, and you'd better be sure of that. I'd like to hear that itchy nose story. Why? Because I'm sure it's a real tall tale of the sea, filled with bravura adventures and victories snatched from the rabid jaws of certain death. I had a bad accident with my nose hair scissors, and ever since that day when the weather's acting up, my nose itches. You gotta be careful when you trim those nose hairs. Hi. I've come to that realization on my own. Oh, really? Do you know any sea shanties? Joe, be thanked. I do not know a single one. Not even a ho 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 on a dead man's casket or something like that? If I went ho 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 on a dead man's casket, girl, the crew would tie me up in the hold. With good reason, too. Would you like to learn a sea shanty? No. Actually, there is nothing in the world I want less than to learn a sea shanty. I would rather stick my head up the arse of an Elguan who's just had a dinner rich with beans and light a torch. Oh, my. I feel in the mood for a shanty. And I feel in the mood for a keel hauling. So, your nose itches when the weather's bad. A deep scarring itch as from the filthy bowels of the mojo thanks captain it's actually captain please try to remember and while you're at it cut back on the scurvy sea dog shtick would you just trying to fit in sir you have as much chance of fitting in here as i do growing a second head marrying myself and moving to coruscant oh, and before you leave mind you only take two apples a day from the apple barrel we're running a little short, and aside from fish, Jal forbid, we have no other food on board. According to Tun, this is a spirit compass, and it points to the magical North Pole. Captain? Hi. What is it? Thanks. Hi. Now leave me be. No. Those are the captain's private quarters and offices. Now what? Watch! My nose is itching! Uh -oh. Are you sleeping on duty again? Storm front! Whist! Heading our way! Looks like a right old bugger too, Art. By the mercy of Jal, it's a chaos storm. Where in damnation did it come from this quickly? And what's pulling it here? Navigator, change our course. We must away from the storm front and to safe harbor. Uh oh, I just felt a cold shiver running down this spot. Uh, that's an issue. Look at this worm. Yeah, I think we need it. Get back here, worm. It's a flower sack. It got away. Uh, I need to trap it. Can I do it? Maybe? It's awful. It tastes like mouthwash. There we go. Why do we have such awful candy? Little guy, eat your heart out. Um, 
I think we need to show it to either the captain or the navigator. I think it's the captain. Captain? What is it now? Captain, the worms have invaded the apple barrel. Cursed be the balance. First the storm, now this. Is there no end to the horrors? Let me see. Jowl's infected arsehole, you be right. Those are worms, all right. Vicious, snarling wheat worms driven mad by their hunger for a change of diet. As far as I could tell, that was the only apple infected. But I could be wrong. Good of you to catch it, girl, before it's spread any further. I'll have to go pluck the apples immediately. They must be saved. Super duper. Go faster, Nibue. Well, this will be all for this episode. I want to say thank you for watching. I'm Flux, and I'm out.